Hello everyone, this is Big Way Battery here. Today, our Big Way technician will show you how to install a JK BMS to your battery pack. We have prepared all the tools and accessories here. And the battery pack we are installing here is the 12 volt 400 amp power. So let's get started. We have the 4 to 8 series 200 amp JK BMS here. This is the balance wire for the BMS. The black wire is to connect to the main negative battery terminal of the bank. A detailed wiring explanation is at the end of this video. Next to wire the rest of the red wires to the positive side of the cells accordingly. The last red wire connects to the main positive battery terminal. Tighten all the connections of the balance wires. Now the balance wires are all connected. The second part is to connect the BMS with the battery. We use the blue cable to connect to the B- side of the BMS and then to the main negative of the battery. What we are using is a 6 AUG cable with lugs that are 16 to 6 mil. Do not over tighten the bolts. The black cable is to connect to the P- side of the BMS. This is the output side. Do not mistakenly connect to the main positive terminal. The black cable size is the same, 6 AUG with lugs that are 16 to 6 mil. Once again, tighten all the bolts. After connecting the cables on both sides, connect the B- side to the main negative terminal. After everything is connected, we then connect the balance wires into the BMS. We have a monitor for this BMS. Connect to the display port. Press the white button on the side. The monitor screen will be on. The BMS has been successfully installed. For Android, open the Play Store or App Store on iPhones. Type JK BMS app in the search bar. Find the blue cloud symbol and install the app on your phone. Press scan to find your BMS. Here is the main status screen. We need to change a few parameters before use. Click settings. Click verify password. Password is one, two, three, four, five, six. Now we can change the settings. Click Life Before to select the right battery type. Change the cell amount and the capacity according to your battery. Open Advanced Settings.
You can change the charge and discharge current according to your BMS. Next step, click control. Turn on charge and discharge. Now, when we go back to the battery status screen, it will show the correct status of your battery. We hope it will help all you DIY enthusiasts. Feel free to comment below and let us know your thoughts. So with the JK BMS, knowing it is a more a professional unit, there can be some confusion with connecting the balance cable. So I'll just explain for the 4 to 8S JK BMSs how to connect the balance cable. So you see here I have the balance cable for the JK BMS 4 to 8S. I will first explain how to connect it as the 8S or 24 volt. So you get the first negative to connect to the main negative of the battery bank. And then you connect to this positive to the first positive cell. And then you go to the second cell for the second positive. And then the third, four, five, six, seven. And then to the last positive, which is the main positive terminal, you get the last two connected to the same main positive which is the eighth positive. Now, I will explain with the 4S. So, it's very similar, except there's one major difference. You still do the same thing. Get the main negative to connect to the main negative post of the battery bank, and then the first positive, the second positive, then the third positive, and then to the fourth positive, and you get the fourth positive cable and then the last positive cable and you connect these two together. And then the ones in between those, you can either cut off or have it isolated. And that will act for the 4S, which is 12 volt.